Hello folks, today we look at the name given to Jesus, Lord of Lords. And the reading is from the book of Revelation, chapter 19 and verse 16. On his robe and on his thigh, he had this name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Luke chapter 2 verse 7 reads that when Jesus first came to the earth, he arrived in humble circumstances and was given humble clothes. However, in his earthly return, his second coming, Jesus wears an exclusive title on his robe, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Rulers sometimes had inscriptions on their garments that revealed their esteemed rank, but none of them ever rightfully carried an inscription as significant as the one on Jesus' robe. Some day he will be king over all the earth, the long-awaited ruler of an earthly universal kingdom. King David anticipated this universal reign of Jesus when he wrote in Psalm 24 and verse 7, Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Then he identified the King. He asked, Who is this King of glory? And answered, The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Again he identified the King of glory in verse 10. He is the Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. And this word Lord in this passage from Revelation and in, in this psalm is in capital letters. And when we see the word Lord, L-O-R-D, in capital letters throughout the Bible, very simply put, it is the Hebrew word for Yahweh, who says, I am who I am, the one true God, eternal and supreme, who deserves our absolute reverence. This is the name given to Jesus, Lord, Yahweh. This is who Jesus is. He carries the sacred and secret name of God. Jesus is God. Wow. The Bible says of Jesus, Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. Thank you, Father, for your word, which tells us that if we proclaim with our mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. For your promise is that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So may you know for yourself this Christmas time the Lord who is Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.